I'm not gonna say I was right about this, but I was dead correct about this. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Anthony and welcome to another edition of Being a Sports Talk. So today I want to talk about Giants free agency. I know you're sick and tired of everything, but I want to get this video up on the page because I haven't uploaded it in a week. I was on spring break and I didn't bring my laptop charger and it was a whole mess. But uh, yeah, we're getting back into the videos. I'm not planning to upload every single day so I can get back into the routine. I don't want to burn myself out right away. Uh, and let's take some time. But anyway, so I want to talk about um, free agency and uh, Leonard Williams. So it looks like a deal it has been buttoned up. No, there hasn't been any report to the exact contract, but I think it's going to be around $14 million a year or $15 million a year. I, I, I'm hesitant that he's going to get 15 but rumors are the cap is only going to go up and up. So are you going to fight on pennies and stuff like that? I think you front load this contract. You give him a lot of guaranteed money, a lot of dead cap for the first two years, and then you uh, you can move off him starting in the, you know, the third year because uh, you never know with Leonard Williams. Does he end up being a star or... Um, does he uh, does he end up sucking? And plus, you're going to have to start paying since you've been drafting so well. You're going to have to end up paying Daniel Jones, Saquon Barkley. So you want to be able to make those financial decisions in a couple years. But again, the cap is only going to go up, especially if the new CBA gets approved. But there's a little bit of mess with that. And the next thing I want to talk about is uh, I'm not going to say I was right about this. But I was dead correct about this. And uh, I was correct about Kyle Van Noy potentially joining the Giants. Now that Tom Brady is leaving, Kyle Van Noy, well, he's not... Uh, we don't know if he's leaving, but especially if he ends up leaving. Kyle Van Noy is just like, he loves Tom. He loves Tom, and uh, I think I think that Kyle is just going to want to leave, especially join, rejoining Joe Judge. It's going to make him feel at home a little bit. And he started off with the Detroit Lions, didn't really have um, that much success there, and they joined the Patriots as that scheme, and it was just like, whoa. He realized that um, he was, he could be successful. He was one of the players he can become, really high-rated high rated on PFF. He was... Um, a great run run defender, a great uh, great in the past too, pretty underrated in the past game. And I think that Kyle Van Noy would be a great addition. Now you have Ryan Connolly, you have Kyle Van Noy, both pretty undersized guys if I'm, I'm not wrong. But I think that you add Isaiah Simmons, you draft him at four if he's available, that'd be a great move. That would solidify our linebacking core. Now with Leonard Williams having an elite defensive line, with Dexter Lawrence going to his second year, I think uh, with this new scheme, he's going to be able to thrive and succeed and really show how versatile he can be. And then you also have, you know, B.J. Hill. Don't underestimate Dalvin Tomlinson. And you're elite on this defensive line now, especially if Jadavion Clowney joins. I want to talk a little bit about that. Um, it, the, the, basically, the rumor was, oh, the, the Giants have a lot of money. I want to be paid a lot of money. That, that's what it was. Uh, Jadavion Clowney, if he joins the Giants, that'd be amazing. I think it would because it, it would officially make our defensive line. People would fear us. We haven't been feared in a while. I think I talked about this in my last video. When was the last time the Giants have been feared on the defensive line? It, it, hasn't, it hasn't been. A, it's been a while. And uh, I think that Jadavion Clowney would really make a difference on this team. Again, the cap is going up. If he really wants to play for us, say, yo, yo Jadavion, $20 million a year, five years. You tell me he's going to deny that and you'll be on this elite defensive line, especially once Leonard Williams signs. And we have a chance I draft Isaiah Simmons. He's going to sign up for that. He's going to sign up for being um, a star on this team. You know, he's going to have Leonard Williams and himself, Kyle Van Noy. If he sees the potential of this team, I think he's going to jump to that chance. What do the Colts really have? Uh, unless they get Tom Brady. What are they going to offer him? Yeah, you know, we have an aging Philip Rivers. But the Giants, no, we're going to say, we have Daniel Jones. We have Saquon Barkley. Look at the talent on this team. And he's going to want to join us right away because he wants to win championships. He realizes, was, he realizes with Seattle, you know, they have Russell Wilson. But there's really a lack of talent on this team that feels like it's just barely making the playoffs every single year. And he's, I think he's, gonna, he's looking at that. He joined the Texans. Limited, limited talent. Limited coaching, and he's going to look at the Giants big. Joe Judge, there's a lot of hope and potential with this team, and I think he's going to want to join us. As far as an offensive tackle in the first round, I am I think people are really underestimating Mark Colombo. I really do. I think Mark Colombo is a great uh, offensive line coach. I think that with Dallas, if they didn't have him, they wouldn't be nearly as good. Obviously, they have a lot of talent on the offensive line, but it takes a while for things to work out. Uh, Nate Solder, there have been rumors that the Patriots are going to trade for him, the Browns are going to trade for him. I think that's just false optimism for the Giants. But maybe the Jets, if they strike out in free agency with a left tackle and they get nervous for the draft, like, are we going to be able to get a good offensive lineman? Are we going to be able to get our guy? Maybe they only have one or two guys on their big board. They may be like, okay, let's get Nate Solder for like a, a fourth-round pick. And all of a sudden, boom, we get half of our trade back for Leonard Williams. I think that would be a great idea for the Giants uh, to get rid of Nate Solder. But if that happens, we would need 
to uh, replace him with an offensive tackle. Kind of limits what we can do in the draft. And it will show our playing cards and kind of uh, make us limited about what we can do. We could still draft a uh, an offensive tackle or a, def- a defensive lineman if we keep Nate Solder. But if we, you know, if we trade Nate Solder, we need an offensive lineman. And everyone knows what we're going to do. And that kind of ruins our draft strategy. But, you know, I, I wouldn't mind getting rid of Nate Solder. But that is something to think about. Andrew Thomas, if we draft him at four... He can, he can. I think he can play right tackle pretty well. He's, he's been able to do that in previous years. I think you, I think you start off at right tackle. I could be completely wrong about that, but I think, I think I'm right about that. And yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know what you guys think. Again, I'm probably not gonna upload every single day. I want to get back on the video grind. I don't want to start burning myself out again. I realize I'm talking about the same and same stuff every single day, but I'm working on videos behind the scenes. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. Let me know what you guys think again. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.